Hey guys, Character Pally here, and as you can so obviously see from the game in the background, this Let's Play is going to be Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Probably one of the best Zelda games they've ever come out with, although Twilight Princess is kind of close. Uh, I'm a huge fan of the Zelda series. In fact, I've bought every single uh, Nintendo console simply to play Zelda on it. Kind of a bit obsessive, I know, but it's that bloody good. Okay, just stick in the details. Most of this video is probably going to be an introduction. There's an awful lot of kind of cutscenes to start off with, so let's get on with it. Except me. I want a fairy. I love a little fairy to keep me warm at night. <laughs> This lightning storm. Ominous music can only mean bad things. Here comes the most annoying fairy in the entire universe. The one fairy in the whole world you wouldn't actually want to keep you warm at night because she'd never shut up. So as per usual in these kind of Zelda games, the world is in peril, you're the only one who can fix it. Oh. Go for a nice little flight with the fairy. Yeah, get used to that noise, you'll be hearing it a lot. <laughs> and that one. <laughs> Careful! Oh, told you. That's better. So yeah, hello, hey, and listen are about the only words she said, and she says them all the time. It does get a little bit thin after a while. Still, it's not her fault she's vocally challenged. Right, so now we're up. And off we go. Oh, that's a tad dark. Might have to nod to brightness up a little bit. And it's our best friend in the entire world. Little 
cheerful Saria. Yep, and I would go to him if there weren't so many people stopping and chatting to me. Although you're the first really, so I should shut up and leave you be. <laughs> Okay, head over towards the Deku tree, and of course, this little brute stands in our way. Can't help wondering if fairy is a euphemism for, you know, down there. <laughs> Okay, so basically we need a sword and a shield, and if he ever shuts up, we'll go and get one. It's always slightly annoying whenever you first um, start these games off, because there's so much help. No, no, we're not playing those silly games. No! Don't want to listen! Stay in my pocket. Okay, so we'll head up and get the sword, which is in this area up here. We also want to save up about 40 rupees and buy a shield. Sorry, I'm playing this on a 360 pad on an emulator since I can't link up um, my copy on Wii to the PC yet. So I'm just getting used to the controls. Obviously, it's a bit different from a Wii controller. Okay, so there's five. I'm trying to work out how to move the camera behind me, but I think it's a Z key. Dead bottom, sorry. Okay, there we go. I think I worked it out. I'll refrain from singing you got the insert item name here every time that music plays. It does play in my head right enough, but I'll leave it there for the time being. Okay, so we now have a sword. Quickly run through and equip it so we can use it. There we go. Start trimming down a few bushes. Watch out for the ever rolling boulder. Obviously chopping things up, throwing rocks, picking up stuff is the main way of picking up um, rupees. You can usually get them by swimming through water. You can generally get them through running through bushes as well. So we're just going to have a little bit of a run around. And it's been so long since I've played the game. I'm trying to pick up this um, rock. Totally forgetting that you can't pick up the rock. That one either. <laughs> Basically because it's a training area, those three rocks don't really do anything at all. Okay. Go back in and chop a few of these down. See if we can get ourselves a few rupees while we're at it. Ooh, a whole two. Good job there's a few higher 
denomination ones laying around. Blue one up on top of that pillar. Ugh, I didn't want to talk to you, missus. These little guys are a little bit creepy. Okay, quick root around the bushes. I guess that's done. Little five over here. So if there's any excitement up here. No. Okay, so we want the one in the middle column. Better, Roxy can pick up. Obviously, bushes that are indestructible. And big fail. Okay, let's try that again. This time I actually change the camera so I can see what I'm doing. And our second five. Eight more to find. There should be a few in these rocks. More than a few, thankfully. And there we go. Oh well, I guess there was a five in the water as well. Okay, so we've got the Z target her and talk to her. Just get that out of the way quickly. A lot of this early stuff is just learning how to play the game, basically, so... Probably put this into a separate video and just leave it. Have it as an introduction rather than proper run-through. Yes, yes, we know, we know. Okay, into the store and let's just quickly get a shield. Yeah, we'll have that, thank you. No, no more money. Unless you got something for five rupees. Okay, so quickly put the shield on. And we're fully equipped and ready. Hopefully the great and wonderful Sorry, great and miserable Mido will let us pass now. I got one, thank you. Indeed it is Mido. We'll see. We'll see. Because I'm nice and you're miserable. Okay. Going to need a few of these little stick things. Okay, okay. Really hate this at the start where every item's new and you end up having to read a whole load of text about it. While it's so easy to get them, we'll try and get a full set of them. Which is 10. But they reset every couple of seconds really, so it shouldn't take too long. I 
main reason I pick up 10 here is that's the limit to begin with. Also the fact whenever I pick 10 up here I don't seem to need any more during the entire game so I kind of do it once and get rid. Nine's probably enough in all fairness. I think there's a couple inside. Oh, look at him with his lovely wooden moustache. Indeed it has been. Oh no! No cursing. It's a Zelda game. And there's our first dungeon, which is a good place to cut off this introductory video. I've been Carrick the Pally. This has been Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. You have a good evening now.